two identical waves are produced by sources at points P and point Q. So they both travel along different paths to reach point R. Okay, if you don't understand this idea, just imagine this. Lah. You have one side creating wave. And you can think of it as traveling like this. Okay, the wave. Very short, lah, 80 cm only. The other one will travel, a, create a wave and travel a little bit longer distance, 100 cm. There is a path difference because one fella travels so far, the other wave travels so short. One is longer than the other. That's important later. So both waves have a wavelength of 6 cm and they are in phase when they reach point R. Eventually they'll reach lah, and overlap at a point. In phase, hmm, interesting. What is the phase difference between the waves as they leave point P and Q? When you see this kind of interference question, question with two path difference, you start off by finding, number one, what is the path difference? And in terms of lambda, how much is that? So the path difference, or rather the difference in length, path one and path two, I'll just take L2 minus L1, lah. let's call this L1, let's call this L2, whichever longer one. So 100 minus 80, will give us 20 cm. So that means one wave travel 20 more cm than the other. But in terms of wavelength, how many waves length is 20 cm? Eh, like this, no? you see, imagine this path is 20 cm. How many lambdas can you fit inside there? That's basically what we're trying to find. So what you can do is just take 20 divided by 6 and you would get a Incomplete number, I believe. Let me try, uh, 20 divided by 6. You know, 10 out of 3, or in the nicer term, in fractions. Uh, let's see if I can convert. How to convert? Uh, 3 and a 1 third of wavelength. So that means the path difference is 3 and 1 quarter. The important part to focus on is 1 third of a wavelength. Is it destructive or constructive? Normally, it's neither. It's not constructive, it's not destructive. But in this case, it's special because they purposely mentioned that when they reach at R, they are in phase. Means they are constructive. So that's so weird. They miss, but it's 1 over 3 lambda. How, how are they constructive? That's because at the source, when they leave in the first place, they are not in phase already. So you need to find... This 1 over 3 wavelength uh, is due to what? Uh? Mm. How do you draw 1 third of a wavelength? Let me try. So we have 1, 2, 3. Okay, so 3 and a 1 third. 1 third. Uh, like that. Uh, then reach ready. So there, this is a path difference between both of them. So let's convert that to angles. That's how we can find our answer. So in the first place, they are not in phase. So 1 over 3 of a full wavelength. Now what's the fa the phase angle of full wavelength? One full cycle is going to be 360. So you just multiply by that. Okay, this is one wavelength. And you should get 120, I believe. Let me divide. Oh, suddenly cannot math. Oh, sorry. 360 divided by 3. 120, yeah. Correct. So here you can say that because of these path difference, they somehow meet in phase at point R where they normally wouldn't. So that's because the the beginning where they were created, it was already out of phase by 120. So you choose 120 as the answer. Okay, hope that was helpful. Uh, but that's all for this video. See you in the next one.